Great stand there. Come and join me for a bit of chat. You can all file in one by one. That's it. Very good. Sit down. <laughs> but I, said, I was just wondering, with that song, yeah. Sylvia, is it, is it about your sister? I mean, it's about sibling rivalry. Have you got a sister? I haven't actually got a sister. So, um, no, it's about sort of imaginary sister. But I did used to have a lot of trouble with boys fancying my mum <laughs> when I was a teenager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's very attractive and well, a young unfair, mum. Isn't it? I know. Yeah. It was awful. Made me feel terrible. Is it, it, how do you, I mean, when you write the songs and, and the lyrics, do you draw on personal experience or...? Um, sort of vaguely, but, uh, but most of them are stories, the songs. Just making up stories mm. about everyday. Yeah, with great liars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the name of your group? Because that's been uh, annoying me for a long time. Can't it, yeah? <laughs> you see, as well, having been brought up in France, I know Saint Etienne, the place, uh -huh. and the, of course the Saint, and of course the football club. Where does the inspiration come from? It's their fault. Yeah, <laughs> it's the football club. Pete, you explain. Well, yeah, it's mainly the football club, even though we're not great support. Bob's quite a Football supporter. Football fan. But it's the sound of the name, really. We thought it Santa sounded Tien. exotic. Yeah, we've never actually seen the town. It's probably a bit dingy. But <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually performed in France, though? Um, in Paris. Yeah. Um, and, oh, Leon, was it? No, no, no. no Nancy. 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 Yeah. Now, now, Sarah didn't actually join the group right at the beginning. You two sort of met each other, and I gather it's had something to do, Bob, with a butcher's shop. Is that right? Uh, yeah, our, our mums met when they were shopping for. Meat, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, literally, and yeah. Butchered. And, and your uh, mum's met and they said, oh, my son's into music. No, we, we were about we were babies 18 months old at the time. So. Oh, I see. You were that young. So yeah. you've known each other all your lives, basically. Yeah, yeah. And, and was music a passion or was it something that you fell into? Um, yeah, it was kind of a mixture of both. Passion we fell into. <laughs> we were into uh, about, I heard that you two don't play, didn't used to play any instruments. No, we're just sort of uh, learning. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Can Stop Us is the first song that featured Sarah. Um, how did she come into your lives and why was she welcome? <laughs> um, oh, uh, yeah, why not? you're a friend of a friend, weren't you? Mike's yeah. girlfriend. Did you feel um, that the band needed a bit of, you know, female soul added to it? Um, well, the original plan was just to get a different singer on every record. I think it would probably always be a girl singer just because I prefer girl singers' voices. But, uh, mm. um, so it was going to be just the one song originally, uh, but we got on really well. And you cooked some pasta and won us over. You got straight to their hearts, didn't you? Yeah. Had, had they got a sound already that you, you know, you felt yeah. that you could, yeah. I was already a Your fan. Your voice was suited so. to. Yeah. yeah, and I was, you know, I was a bit of a fan, so it was a, a perfect thing for me. I felt very lucky, felt very lucky. But this is actually the first album or the first studio album for four years, isn't it? Yeah. So what's, what's been the gap? What's the story behind the gap there? Sarah's doing a solo album, um, which took a bit longer than planned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very nice. Sorry. But, you know, I mean, she's probably writing all the material. It takes a long time to do these albums, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Sarah, why did, you, why did you decide you wanted to do a solo album? Was that sort of pursuing a slightly um, different... I'd always wanted to do it since I was about 15 or 16, since mm. I first joined a band or whatever. Uh, I had a lot of songs floating around. Um, a lot of very personal songs. These ones, a lot of them were about me, so it's a bit unfair to inflict them on these two, you know. Um... And also, I I'd had a lot of people sort of assuming that I was just a fluffy blonde front person. I yeah. needed to sort of prove Isn't it something. Difficult though, because in the music industry, as soon as somebody leaves a band and goes solo, everyone thinks, "Oh, that's the end of that band." Or oh, they're going to yeah, do yeah. it. Did you did you find that the press were, were sort of? Oh, they were terrible. They yeah. were running. They ran a story in the enemy. Yeah, they saying story. that we'd split up. A new story. Yeah. And that. Well, no, we haven't. Yeah. And what about this attic business? Um, apparently, it's, one of you's got a great attic with lots of records right. in it and Pulp for some reason wanted to film their video there. Oh right, yeah, that's, that's my house, yeah. yeah. I've had to take the records out because the ceiling was like, it looked like it was going to fall down and kill me. And how did Pulp come to sort of just choose this as a location? Um, I think we were just like mates of them at the time yeah. and uh, that, was, that was another song about sibling rivalry actually called yeah. Babies. Really? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I had a couple of friends of ours who were sisters in the video jumping around in the well, listen, room. I'll tell you, it's, I've really enjoyed listening to this album. Unfortunately, we can't play the whole thing today, but you are going to sing another song for us. What's it going to be? Wood Cabin. Wood Cabin. Well, off you go. Thank you. Set's waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice talking to you as well. Right, that's Saint Etienne there. Great fun. And their forthcoming album is called Appropriately In Good Humour. I'm going to say goodbye now, but leave you with another song from that album called Wood Cabin.